Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and I am finally doing another Dimal School vlog. Today is the first day of second semester of my second year so spring 2021 and we're starting off with an 8 a.m. class. Love to see it. Last semester we were blessed with mostly 9 a.m. classes and I kind of got used to it so I'm not like super excited about waking up this early. Just packing lunch because they literally haven't told us if we're going to be there until like 12 or if we're going to be there until 5 so I have to be prepared for anything. I just have a little Trader Joe's lemon arugula salad, the best Trader Joe's salad if you haven't had it. This little cheese stick as a snack and a Honeycrisp apple. I got like nine Honeycrisps from Costco for like seven dollars yesterday and someone had the audacity to comment on my story and tell me that was expensive i was like do you not know how expensive honey crisps are and they're worth every penny they're so good i'm gonna put these all in my bag i just actually got a question about my bag again yesterday it's the buff bunny game changer bag it has a little meal prep compartment so i don't have to carry on a separate lunch bag and i need to make a smoothie real quick so All right, smoothie is ready. I got some fruit in here, some spinach. I've been trying to eat more like fruits and veggies and if I don't get any in for breakfast, it's kind of hard to get them in throughout the day. So I put in like a crap ton of spinach in here. And then I find the best flavor for smoothies, at least my current flavor for smoothies in terms of like protein, cause I always add a protein into my smoothies just cause easy way to get in protein is the magical charms flavor. It's one of the formula ones, so usually in the morning I'll have a level one because it keeps me full a little longer. But the Magical Charms flavor is really good and it adds like 20 grams of protein and it goes really well with fruit smoothies. So that's what I add. Alright, I gotta go. I am unprepared for class today, but that's what today is for. I'm gonna get all my OneNote situated, gonna get my calendar situated today, and we'll see what we learn in endo class today. In case I didn't already mention it, I have endo today. That's root canal class. Very important stuff. Very important stuff. So, gotta go. Talk to you guys later. guys i am back from class it's about one o'clock now i left a little after 12 and just wanted to finish my lunch before i updated you guys but we had endo this morning we had two lectures and usually the lecture is only allotted like an hour of time and they just lectured for like two hours straight and i'm like good thing that i was like fresh at 8 a.m because if i had that two hour lecture like in the afternoon i think i would have i would have gotten a little sleepy and then I turned out to be in the first group, which is what I wanted because I didn't want to like have to literally leave at like 10 a.m. and come back at 1 p.m. just to be there like for the rest of the day. So luckily I was in the first group and today we drilled a bunch of like access preparations, I think is what they're called. Obviously I haven't studied any of the material yet because it's literally been today, so. I don't know if it's access preparations or whatever it is. Basically the holes that you drill to access the pulp chamber before you get to the canals for the root canal. So it seemed pretty fun. We just drilled them like a tabletop, but I felt like mine were looking pretty good. Um, they're looking pretty round. They just said I was doing a good job so far. We did do one full mandibular quadrant and that was just like tabletop. It doesn't mount into like our mannequin. And then next week I'll have to do the whole thing on the upper teeth, but like in the mannequin. Um, but I kind of like drilling on the upper because 
just use your little mirror and I don't know, it's kind of fun. And while we were getting lectured out a little bit this morning, just kind of downloaded some of the syllabi for my classes and kind of got all my OneNote set up and everything. I take all my notes on OneNote, so I upload the syllabus and all of the lectures and any other like important schedule information. So I kind of got that situated. I do have one other lecture I'm supposed to listen to today. I think it's for my pharmacology class and it's supposed to be from four to five, but it's just pre-recorded so I can listen to it whenever. And yeah, I'm gonna change into some comfy clothes and then start working through my calendar and just getting everything organized and figuring out like what my schedule is because I literally had to ask someone what class we have tomorrow because I just don't know. I realized I forgot to show you guys my scrubs this morning. These are the MIM scrubs. It's like millennials in medicine. I don't know, but I like their joggers because they're actually a little bit higher waisted than the figs joggers and they're very comfy and they fit my big calves. So major pluses here. So yeah, now I'm going to get into some comfy clothes and get a little organized. Oh, your birds are coming back guys. The birds are coming back. So I just entered everything into my calendar and what it was maybe like seven more credits this semester than last semester, which kind of sucks. Like looking at my schedule, this is like one of the worst semesters we've had in a while. Last semester, I managed to go to the gym on like my days that I started at 9 a.m. And so far, I don't have any days that start at 9 a.m. unless some of these classes move online. Considering the pandemic literally isn't any better, if anything, it's worse since when we started school in the fall. I don't understand why my school isn't pushing more to have classes that don't absolutely need to be in person to just have those online. And they're just like, well, if you guys are gonna be in clinic and you're gonna be in sim lab with each other, like you're already gonna be exposed to each other. But I just don't understand why we're not focusing on minimizing exposure. If we could have a lot of these courses online, our lives would just be so much easier in terms of not having to be around each other all the time. Our class president is reaching out to people to see what we can do. Hopefully before the end of this vlog, I come back to you guys with some better news because um, this schedule makes me wanna cry. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> go. <laughs> One more. Hey, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh. Go. <laughs> All right, it's about nine o'clock. I'm gonna get ready for bed. I did everything I planned today. Did a little extra YouTube work, email oh, stuff wow. that I needed to get done. And tomorrow I have 8 a.m. pharmacology, but it is online tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go to the gym instead. And then it's a pre-recorded lecture, so I'll just watch it later. 9 a.m. I have clinic and I'm assisting, I think just on like a cleaning or something. And then the afternoon we have our comp care class, which is kind of like case studies and whatnot. That's the plan. Usually I kind of skip the gym my first week of class, but I just feel like going. So we're gonna be going tomorrow, 7 a.m. All right, just got back from the gym, did a little push day, did quite a bit of chest and I'm like literally shaking, but I wanted to share my outfit because it's cute. They're both buff bunny. This is the Monarch bra, which is my favorite bra from them because look at that. And then these are like a pretty old pair of their, um, I think they're called the Onyx leggings, but it's the white marble with pockets. So it's about 8.03, I just got back from the gym. So now I'm gonna make a smoothie, quickly shower, get ready for clinic at nine. All right, my apologies for the dishwasher going, but I just got back from class. So I had clinic in the morning and we were just doing a cleaning. And usually if I'm assisting a fourth year and they ask me to do the cleaning, like no one has a problem with it. But today the overseeing faculty was like, no, I don't want her to do the cleaning. AKA like, she didn't want me to do the cleaning, which was just like kind of strange. Apparently she was like in a rush and she thought I would like take forever or something. I don't, she didn't say that, but like, I don't know. I feel like the faculty should want their students to get as much experience as possible and a fourth year really doesn't need any more cleanings. 
Anyway, so I got released from that at like 10 o'clock. So I got done a few of the pre-recorded lectures that I was supposed to be watching today. And then we had our comprehensive care class and just had like a super easy intro, only lasted an hour. And then I came home. That's kind of all I've been up to. I have to watch a lecture before my removable partial denture class tomorrow morning. So in the morning we have our first lab for that and they want us to watch the lecture beforehand. And then in the afternoon I have another clinic session and I don't know what I'm doing yet. But some good news, I just heard a couple other of my classes are moving to be on Line, so that is literally gonna save me still waiting for the final confirmation but we should have basically all of Friday if not like actually all of Friday online which will be super nice I can just have one day a week that I could just like sit at home do all my online lectures and not have to worry about going into class or anything it'll also be easier for me to like make time for the gym and everything so that was some great news all right I'm gonna work on that lecture right now and we have to take like a bunch of boxes to the dump as well because I have just gotten a couple packages since being home. Pitt has been liking to sit on this little car thing and of course I was about to work and look who stole my seat. Excuse me miss, you know I was sitting there and then you came and you decided that you wanted to sit there? Kind of rude. We're just making some dinner. I got this cod at Costco and it's like frozen, super easy, already marinated and stuff. We're just gonna cook that in the oven. I have some rice going in the rice cooker. And then on the side, well, there's the salad. Sorry, you can't see it. All right, so I just got back from lab and clinic. It's around five o'clock right now. I left around four and then we stopped to get some mail. So it's a little bit later. This morning we had RPD lab, which was honestly great. The faculty who is running the course is like super organized and basically laid out every single thing we need to do at each step for the lab, which is so helpful because sometimes they're just like, do this and you're like, Hello, I don't know how to do that. This is the first time. So it was super nice to have him lay all that out. He even put like some tips and tricks on the slides, which is very valuable. So I actually got a lot done for that class. And then in the afternoon I had treatment planning, which is one of my least favorite places to be because it just takes so long and it's like so boring, but I got through it. And tonight I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Probably some emails, relax. I don't really think I'm gonna do any schoolwork. So I don't really think I have anything to do. And tomorrow is Thursday. I think I might go to the gym in the morning and then I'm pretty sure I have online class until 12. So we're getting we're getting more confirmation of class being moved to a hybrid style. So we can do it online. So that's great news. So I'm gonna go relax for a bit. Sorry for the lack of updates today, but I went to the gym this morning, did a little pull day. Then we had our first class in the morning, which is just kind of like, was just a little syllabus review, then pharmacology and then anatomy, but I haven't gotten a chance to watch that yet because they post the lecture after the time frame, so I'll have to watch it tonight. And now I'm off to clinic, assisting on a restoration. Like half my classmates aren't assigned to do anything today, but of course they always assign me. So that's where I'll be, wearing the MIM scrubs again, and I gotta go because I'm running a little late. Not really late, just not being early, you know? 
All right, running a little late today, but it is Friday morning. It's around 7.25 and lo and behold, they said come to class in person on Friday morning at eight. Love to see it. And to make it worse, they're giving us lectures in SimLab, which were, SimLab was not made for lecturing. It's literally like, you know, dentist chairs in like a lab bench. So I hate getting lectures there because it's really hard to focus and really hard to write stuff down. So I'm a little annoyed. Hopefully they eventually move it online. But oral surgery and advanced radiology techniques are the only ones that are in person today. Then I have four hours of oral pathology and then anatomy this afternoon. So it's gonna be a long day of lecture classes. Hair's not looking cute today. So we got this headband, but it has little buttons to protect my ears from masks. Got my little go-to smoothie and I am off. So we're looking a little rough right now, but that's just how Fridays are gonna be. Went to my first two classes this morning. It was oral surgery and radiology. They were both fine. I really don't like our radiology slides because they're literally from 30 years ago or more. Like they're super old and they just look super old. They're not very fun to study. It's around 12 now. I also got home and just finished up my anatomy lecture. Now I'm working on my second path lecture of the week. I thought it was supposed to be oral path, but we're learning about the endocrine system right now. So it's also systemic pathology. A lot of very like medical related stuff this semester. Anyways, I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Can't believe I actually did a full week of vlogging, even if my vlogging was a little weak the past two days. Also some exciting news. I am getting my vaccine tomorrow. Super excited about that. That'll be my first dose. And then three weeks later, depending on which one I get, get dose number two. It's a good day to be a dental student because we work on patients, so we're tier one. All right, if you made it this far, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Stay tuned for more vlogs. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.